Once you have created your students and classes, you can set a variety of options for those students in order to in individualize the learning environment for their different needs. Click User Options along the top of the screen. All options are available in tabs across the screen. General, Lessons, Activities, Assessments, and Accessibilities. Whenever you do anything on any of these tabs, you're always going to want to come down here and click Save Changes so your changes are permanent. In order to start, select one or more students in your class. You can select an entire class of students at once by selecting the class name. So I'm going to collect Mrs. Brown. I'm going to click on Mrs. Brown. These quick settings. Use these selections to affect a number of settings at once based on your students' grades or keyboarding readiness. Young or beginner students automatically sets the design and vocabulary level to that for grades K through 2 and provides game breaks after a shorter period of time, 5 minutes. The intermediate students automatically sets the design and vocabulary level to that for grades 3 through 6 and provides game breaks after a slightly longer period of time, 8 minutes. Older and advanced students automatically sets the design and vocabulary level to that for grades 7 through 12 and provides game breaks after a longer period of time, 10 minutes. Down here, these audio. Check or uncheck these options to control music, sound effects, instructions, and audio vo voiceovers. When off, students still receive text instructions throughout the program. The vocabulary level. Select from the drop-down menu a vocabulary level for your students. This affects all content in the program, including lessons, remediation, activities, activity payoffs, assessments, instructions, ergonomic breaks, and introductory movies. The design level. Select from the drop-down menu a design level for your students, grade K through 2 or grades 3 through 12. This affects the design of the main menu, lesson screens, assessment screens, and big idea games. Ergonomic breaks. Select from the drop-down menu whether to allow ergonomic breaks and if so, set the timing for them. You, the, your choices are disabled every 10 minutes, every 20 minutes, or every 30 minutes. While the student works, after the set amount of time, an ergonomic break appears and tells them to stretch. Ergonomic breaks do not interrupt assessments or activities. They appear in between tasks. You can also set the duration for an ergonomic break to 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or 90 seconds. So these are some quick set options that quickly will let you um, take care of uh, what these other options cover. So let's take a look if we, let's say we wanted to um, take a look at uh, the lessons option. The prevent going past lesson. You can select a lesson or assignment from the drop down menu to prevent an upper limit pass which a student cannot progress. This may be useful if students are accessing the program from home and you do not want them to speed through too many lessons too quickly without getting the proper practice time. By default, this setting is disabled. Game breaks. Select from the drop down menu whether you want to allow game breaks and if so, set the timing for them. This means that while the student is working in a lesson, after the set amount of, a, of time, a game break will appear giving the student an option to play one of the five activities. The activity choice is randomized and the student then returns to the lesson where they left off. They can also say no to the break. Game breaks do not interrupt assessments or activities. They only appear in between lesson tasks. The default timings are grades K through 2 every 5 minutes, grades 3 through 6 every 10 min 8 minutes, excuse me, and grades 7 through 12 every 10 minutes. Game breaks might be useful if you are having students who are easily frustrated or have a hard time focusing on a lesson task for very long. These breaks help to maintain interest. Custom content. Select a custom content package to assign to certain selected students or select none for no custom content to be available. Teachers create the custom content. Um, I can make a video on that later on. 
the security check options, select whether the security check part of lesson should require 100% accuracy with errors returning the student to the beginning or if errors should be allowed. The default setting is to require 100% accuracy during this short security check. Reference hand support. This checkbox option turns the animated hand support on or off in lessons. By default, it is on. Allow skip to the final challenge. This setting allows students to try the final challenge for a lesson without completing the lesson itself. If they pass, the, if they pass by meeting their goals, they can then proceed to the next sequential lesson. This is a way to allow advanced students to move ahead quickly while still based on merit. By default, this option is on. Younger Lessons A and B. This setting allows you to turn on or off Lessons A and B, which focus on keyboarding awareness for the youngest learners. These introductory lessons do not teach touch typing, but rather provide a foundation for the other lessons. By default, Lesson A and B are only on for students in grades K through 2. Skip Lesson 29 and 30 on the Numeric Keypad. Type to Learn 4 includes two lessons teaching the Numeric keypad, keypad. However, we recognize that not all keyboards will have a Numeric Keypad. Therefore, this setting allows you to skip these lessons if desired. By default, these lessons are on, unchecked setting. Check the box only if you want to set them. Manually set goals. This option allows the teacher to manually set words per minute and accuracy goals for individuals or for groups of students. However, we strongly encourage you not to manually change these goals. The pretest informative assessments in the product will automatically set goals for each individual student based on their own personal performances. Let's go to activities. Allow activities. Select from this menu when activities should be accessible by students. Never any time before the lesson is complete or only after, after the lesson is complete. The default setting is for activities to be allowed after the lesson has been completed. Required or optional. You can select whether each activity is required, optional, or off. This, this default setting is on for all activities to be required. Drone control time limit. The drone control activity has a time limit that can be manually set from 20 to 120 seconds. If you set the time limit outside its designated range, it will be set back to the previous number automatically. The default time limits for each grade range are grades K through 2, 60 seconds, grades 3 through 6, 75 seconds, and grades 7 through 12, 60 seconds. The Dig This Metronome. The Dig This activity has optional metronome beat for cadence. This can help students type in a smooth rhythm. Teachers can turn this metronome beat on or off. By default, it is on. Students have the option of turning the metronome off from the activity screen. Now let's go to the Assessments tab. The pretest settings. This checkbox selection turns the pretest on or off. By default, the pretest setting is on for all students. When on, select from the drop down box menu whether the pretest should be required or optional. By default, it is required. After a student takes a pretest, this check mark becomes unchecked. The teacher can then check it again to reassign the pretest. You may want to do this if a student has had a long absence or at the start of a new school year. Their goals and starting lesson will be reset. However, no previous data is lost. The formative assessment settings. These checkboxes affect the six formative assessments that are spread throughout the lesson scope and sequence. First, check to turn all formative assessments on or off. By default, they are on. This setting affects all assessments in the product. You cannot have some on and others off. Backspace. Check to allow or disallow the use of backspace during assessments. When allowed, students can use backspace to correct errors in their typing. Their accuracy will then be higher, however their words per minute will be lower due to the time they took to correct the errors. By default, backspace is, in, is allowed. Pause. Check to allow or disallow pausing during an assessment. This temporarily stops the time limit during the assessment. By default, pause is allowed. 
Assessment Time Limit, select the drop-down menu a time limit for assessments, disabled or 1 through 5 minutes. Default, default time limits for each grade are grades K through 2, 3 minutes, grades 3 through 6, 3 minutes, grades 7 through 12, 5 minutes. Assessment contact has been created so that students type for the full time but do not necessarily complete the entire assessment. This is intentional. An assessment may even end in the middle of a sentence. Students are scored based on what they were able to type in the time allowed. Check to display a timer as the student takes the assessment. By default, the timer is not displayed. Enable automatic goal adjustment. Check this setting to allow or disallow the program's automatic goal adjustment feature. This means that a student's performance on the pretest and formative assessment will determine their goals in the program. This is an incredibly individualized way to set, a stu to set students' goals. By default, this is checked to be allowed. The assessment method. Select from this drop-down menu if assessment should be given on the screen or off a printed copy. All assessments for each grade range are provided in Appendix C of the User Guide. If printer assessment is selected, then no text will display on the screen. Students will need to type off the printed copy. Be sure to print out the correct assessment number and grade to ensure accuracy in the program. We'll leave that on on-screen. The accessibility options language. You can change this to either English or Spanish. Adjust font size. Select from this drop-down menu to adjust the size of the text on screen for sight impaired students. Play audio on rollover buttons. This checkbox setting turns audio on or off when the student rolls their cursor over buttons on the screen. If this setting is on, then audio is also automatically played along with the larger text in Spanish translation. In that case, the audio is in Spanish. By default, this setting is on only for students in grades K through 2 and off for students in grades 3 through 12. And adjust text for the visually impaired. Select from this drop-down menu to change the font color scheme for students with visual impairments. Adjusted font colors appear when the student roll their cursor over buttons or text on the screen. Spanish text can also be adjusted if Spanish ESL is selected from the language option. So this gives you a very, very um, detailed way to, to um, pattern your lessons for your students. Um, as always, whenever you get done with um, a tab, you'll always want to go down and collect or click on Save Changes. This is how you customize lessons for your students.